So I don't really know how to begin this video particularly. Um, it's not really about anything special or anything specific. Um, however, I just wanted to come on here and thank everybody who watched my Euro 2024 predictions video as it's done a hell of a lot better than I expected it to be. And I'll get onto that in a second. But before I do get onto that, I want to say um, we are so close to 100 subscribers. We're currently on 78 subscribers at the moment. So please subscribe to the channel. Um, we're 12, 12, 22 subscribers away, apologies, um, to 100 subscribers. So please click that subscribe button. It really, really does help support the channel. Um, and I'm honestly so, so grateful for everyone who watches my videos because I'm not the best content creator out there. There are other people who are killing it right now, like the Sidemen, for example, other small content creators. I just do these videos because I enjoy making them. Um, it's, it's a part of my hobby. And I'm potentially going to be starting a brand new poetry series on here as well because I write a lot of poetry. Um, I've showed it to my friends and family. They think it's all superb. Um, they even think I should submit them to national competitions. Um, so I thought I might show, share my poetry with you guys, see what you guys think. Um, as I also think that's another sort of um, play thing I can get myself into, sort of write poetry, maybe for a living as a job potentially. But the main reason for this video and for this incredibly short video is my Euro 2024 prediction video that I uploaded three weeks ago now. Um, it is currently on just over 1.1k views. So 1,100 views is the most amount of views I've ever had on my YouTube channel. I am honestly so grateful for that. I'm so grateful for the thousand people who have viewed it, com uh, the 24 people who have commented on there, predict putting their predictions on there, interacting with my videos, which I, which is the, my, my favorite thing, seeing you guys interact with me. Bear in mind, I'm not, as I said, not one of the biggest content creators out there. So it really, really means a lot to me. But 1.1K views and I imagine a big reason for this is due to the fact that the Euros are coming up this summer. So I reckon that we'll probably push for about 3,000 views by the time the Euros actually arrive. Because the closer we get to that tournament, the more uh, trending it will become on all social media channels, etc. And Gareth Southgate is naming his England squad for the Euros in two days time uh, as i as i'm recording this it is currently tuesday at 20 to 9 in the evening english time um so gareth southgate is going to be giving his england squad um for th on thursday um it's probably going to be the same team as it always is because gareth southgate never changes his team it's one of the most boring things about england football obviously the footballers themselves are extremely good but we need to give some of the other players who are killing it at the moment in the Premier League a chance to um, show themselves in international tournaments uh, like Kobe Mainu, for example, like Ollie Watkins, who's been doing really well, who's on form at the moment, even like Dan Byrne and Lewis Dunk, who are the, the, the centre backs from Brighton and Newcastle. I also think they should um, be given a chance um in the England squad. Obviously, you you keep the regulars like Kane, Saka, Foden, etc. But just give other people a chance. You know, it doesn't it doesn't hurt anyone. Let me know in the comments down below who you think should be in the England squad uh, for 2024. And if you're not from England, if you're from another part of the world, comment who you think is your best player from your country going into this tournament. Um, I'd be I'd be interesting interested to see um, who the best player from your country is. But yeah, that's all I wanted to come on here to say, really. Um, updates on the podcast. Um, there probably won't be one for a long time, as I'm not going to go into specifics, but um, Easter is coming up and uh, big changes um, for me. 
coming up. Um, so there probably won't be a podcast until probably August time, sort of middle of August ish, something like that. Um, but we're hoping to get some, also get some guests on the podcast. Maybe invite some, invite some of my friends, some of my family onto a podcast and do specific specials that they're interested in. Um, so one of my friends, for example, is a massive Formula One fan, so we could do a Formula One and racing um, podcast. And one of my family members is a massive footy fan, so we might do a past versus present um, football um, football podcast, um, like footballers that he grew up with versus the footballers that I grew up with um, and see which quality of football is better. So let me know in the comments as well if you are interested in wanting to see those types of podcasts. And yeah, smash the like on this video, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.